Wido. I am Chihiro Suwa. I divorced my husband because he cheated on me, and now I'm raising my son Yota as a single mother. Fortunately, my parents' house is close by and they helped me out, so I was able to live without any major difficulties. Yota will start elementary school this year. His friend from kindergarten is now in the same class with him, and he seems to enjoy school every day. Mom, I played tag with Yuma today. Oh, that's great. And school lunch was curry, and it was really good. I wish I could eat it too. Yota's smiling face was the best thing that ever happened to me. But when I joined the PTA and started working as a board member, I ran into problems. One of the moms started to see me as an enemy and started to sarcastically criticize me about everything. Oh my, I thought I smelled some mold, but I guess it was because the poor Sue-san was here. Hello. Poor Yota, having a mother like you. That mom was her, Matsuda-san. Matsuda-san has three children. The older ones are graduates of this elementary school. Matsuda-san has been involved in the PTA since her older children were here and is what you might call a boss of moms. There were many mothers who admired Matsuda-san because of her wide connections. At first, I was able to get along with Matsuda-san, but it was at a festival organized by the parents where the relationship became complicated. Matsuda-san, this total is different from what I calculated. What? Are you complaining about what I do? I am not complaining. I'm just asking you to check the numbers again. I've been doing this job for years. You think I would make a mistake? But the total and the price on the receipt are different. I'm sorry, could you please run the numbers again from the beginning? Oh, yeah. I heard you love your husband you're a single mom. What? Uh, yeah. I bet you just kept picking on him like you're doing now. That's why he started to dislike and divorce you. What? That's not true. What does my divorce have to do with this? Shut up! You're single and a failure! I raised three kids! Don't tell me what to do! Apparently, Matsuda-san thinks that moms with more kids are better and single families are lower in status. I guess she was annoyed to get a word from me since I was thought of as a lower class. This led Matsuda-san to regard me as an enemy, and she began to make a series of sarcastic remarks every time we met. Oh, aren't you wasting your time here? If you don't work, you'll have a hard time making a living, won't you? Don't worry, I'm working hard and making good money. I saw you at sports today. He looks so skinny, I felt bad for him. Maybe you've only been feeding him crummy meals? I make and feed him. I make and feed him every meal. He's a normal sized boy. I try to talk back, but poor people are so quick to lose their temper. And she would give me more sarcastic remarks. But I guess Matsuda-san wasn't amused at me ignoring her. After that, Matsuda-san, please stop spreading strange rumors. Huh? What do you mean? I heard you spreading rumors that we got divorced because I cheated on my husband. Isn't that right, though? That's not true. My husband was the reason we split up. The court ruled that my husband was to blame. But you know, I don't think divorce is one person's fault or the other. Huh? Maybe your husband cheated on you because he wasn't attracted to you. What? Because you're ugly and you have a poor-looking body. He didn't see you as a woman. <laughs> Poor you. Unable to take it anymore, I secretly took my phone and recorded the entire triad. After that, I bought a small voice recorder and pressed the switch every time Matsuda-san approached me. Matsuda-san, unaware that she was being recorded, would spew out terrible words every time. I'm lucky to come from a privileged family. She would say things like that and walk away. The board's term ends in three months. I just have to be patient for now. There's plenty of evidence if it comes down to it. Fortunately, the other moms were on my side and I was able to get by because I was able to do PTA activities without Matsuda-san. Then, one day, the board members decide to get together for a meeting to discuss an event. Matsuda-san said, let's do it at my house. And we decide to go to her house. As soon as we entered the house, Matsuda-san turned to me and said, All we have at home are luxury items. I don't care how hard it is to make ends meet as a single parent. You won't steal from me, will you? With the exception of some of Matsuda-san's cronies, the moms who were present looked disgusted, saying, Well, here we go again. Although some of, although some of the moms had my back and said, You shouldn't talk to her like that. You shouldn't talk like that. I had already turned on the voice recorder and thought, Thank you for the evidence, as I ignored Matsuda-san's remarks. After that, we took our seats. The Matsuda-san and her followers got excited talking about trivial matters and didn't talk about the event at all. Being fed up, let's get down to business. 
I tried to shift the conversation, but she just pretended not to hear me. That's when it happened. What a nice bag! When did you get it? A Japanese pattern bag that was left there as if it was begging to be found. A follower of hers brought it over and Matsuda-san, Oh, did you notice? She began to boast about it. I just bought it this month. It's a custom made one of a kind. It's a brand that's been all over the internet lately. It's a luxury item. Kimono fabric, right? It's so nice. Looks expensive. It's a luxury item. It's more expensive than someone could ever afford. Matsuda-san smiles while looking at me. The moms around me are beyond stunned and have blank stares on their faces. I also wanted to get it over with and go home. And more importantly, I was getting irritated for being looked down on continuously. It's about time. I decided to speak up. Oh, I'm so glad that you admire my work so much. I am very happy. Thank you very much. Huh? That's the bag you ordered from Swan Studio, isn't it? I think it was finished at the end of last month and delivered at the beginning of this month. Wait, how do you know? Well, because I'm the one who made that. What? Actually, I noticed from the moment I entered the room. That bag that was on display was a kimono remake bag that I made. I've been working at my mother's tailor shop even before I got married. And recently, I've been working mainly on bags and accessories made from kimono fabrics. Not long after it appeared in a magazine, orders increased, and it started to appear at the top of the searches on the internet. Thanks to that, sales have been on the rise recently, and even though I'm single, I'm not having any trouble making a living. When I told this to my mom friends and handed out my business card, Wow! You are so talented to be able to make bags like this. They praised me. I thought Matsuda-san had learned her lesson, but It's your fault, you poor lady! Cheating woman! And heated up more and more. I happened to mention it to my mother and she said, You can't allow this! She introduced me to a lawyer, and I decided to sue Matsuda-san. When I sent a content certified letter in the name of my lawyer, Matsuda-san must have been very nervous. She showed up with her husband over the weekend. I apologize on behalf of my wife. I'm ready to sue. I'm going to have her quit the PTA and stay home. So please don't sue. Her husband was surprisingly decent and gave his sincere apologies. I'm torn, but Yota is only in the first grade. He has to go to school for another five years. If the parents get into trouble with each other, it won't be good for the kids either. Besides, if the trial drags on, it will affect my work. I decide to hold off on suing for the time being on the condition that she would write a reminder to never insult me again, as well as quitting the PTA and staying away from me and Yota. After that, Matsuda-san was never seen in front of me, and I rarely saw her outside. My mom friends were glad, saying, The peace is finally restored, and Matsuda-san was gone, but... At the end of the year, Matsuda-san finally got divorced and disappeared completely from town. Matsuda-san quit the PT and became a recluse, right? Apparently, that's when she became addicted to the internet. She started slandering people on social media. And she was sued by the other party. Wow, that's a big deal. Her husband was so disgusted that he divorced her. The husband took the child and Matsuda-san has been living alone and lonely ever since. She should have learned her lesson with me and stopped but not knowing when to call it quits might mean that that might mean that this was just her personality after all. There's not a single thing to be gained by putting others down after all. I'm gonna take Matsuda-san as a lesson and try to live an honest life.